My name is Glenn Fuji, and I'm with the Asian Pacific Islanders, American Public Affairs, so spells out a papa. So I'm here to tell you a little bit about a papa, and I'll try to do it within three to five minutes. Um, before I begin, I want to really touch on the history of a papa, and, and he, he's really sitting in this room. He's got a plaid shirt on, and I, I don't want to go into much of details. But uh, Mr. C.C. Yin and a bunch of, uh, let's give him a round of applause. C.C., can you stand up real quick? I want everyone to see Mr. Yin. Okay. So this is really where our papa started, right there. So I just want to uh, share with you that C.C. Regina and many other like-minded civic leaders really felt, as you can read and you'll see in our slide, that there was a an alarming lack of representation in the API community at all levels of government and business. So CC battled you know, his own personal experiences to also incentivize his whole organization. Therefore, we have a papa. So right now, as you can see from the history and our goal and our mission for a papa is really to empower the APIA leaders in our national organizations now, and, and as Sandy has stated, before I get into this, that uh, APOP is committed to do this with the team. We know we're not going to do it by ourselves, and, and this is why I love the, the, the CLUSA theme of fly together. I know back in D.C. it was a theme, and, and it really motivated me when I saw the various leaders come together. I got to share stories and learn a lot on my own but it encouraged to really want to be part of this theme, fly together. I think it's powerful, and I'm a believer that we can't do this by ourselves. Right now, for past achievements, uh, APOP is now up to 25 chapters throughout the country, and uh, representing over 20, 000, about 20,000 members in states from California, Nevada, Washington, Utah, Texas, Ohio, Washington, D.C., New York, Florida, and Massachusetts, many of which are represented in this room today. So thank you for coming. And, uh, you know, we look forward to our future partnerships. We've, uh, with the support of CLUSA, which was VNA and CLF in the past, they helped provide hundreds of scholarships and internships throughout our entire country for all of our APAPA chapters, which we're very grateful for. And without that support, we were, would be unable to have these programs. So we're very grateful. And the, the hundreds is roughly around 500. And uh, registration, we are now going to hopefully next year. I look at her because she's a powerful person in this area. It's API Vote, Christine Chin. Uh, we are going to try to coordinate efforts with her team to try to have really organized and coordinated uh, voter registration and awareness days next year in 2019. And we feel very, very, we're very excited about this, that all of our chapters will now have access to data, be able to be accountable to our voters who do register through our organizations, and we can follow through with all of that and continue to communicate and make them educated and make them also aware to why they, why they should register to vote. We are supporting many civic leadership forums and town hall meetings throughout the country. I look at HP, and I look at Vincent, I look at Andy, all of which have been very active, Victoria as well, of having civic leadership forums throughout the country. Um, I'm going to try to stay within my three minutes. So I'm going to jump over to the impacts of our CLF grants in the past to our organizations. So at... I just want to let you know I've spoken to many youths that have gone through our internship programs, and the greatest thing that I see is, as far as getting to that next step where Michael's already gotten with his group is that you've motivated and helped inspire a lot of young APIA leaders that had no clue of what the process and what things were all about. And now they're engaged, they're excited, and they're willing to take the next steps. And, and I think... I look at Michael because he inspired me with those numbers, and I mentioned to Anthony earlier that I really want to partner with Apolly to implement some of those programs into our leadership so that we can work together. And I look forward to that. 
So without any further ado from me, that's my three minute presentation. Thank you. And that was a that was a perfect five minute.